What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So I'm running a little bit late today, so I'm just going to make a very simple video, and this is something that I actually get asked about a lot, which is how do you change the uh, unit of measure in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I get asked a lot in the comments how you change your uh, units in SketchUp, and usually that's because what I use is I use feet and inches. Um, so I'm, I'm based in um, America, so we use feet and inches, but a lot of people use metric. And so you can see if I was to come in here with like the tape measure or something like that, um, you can see if I measure a length, it comes out in feet and inches. And if I measure an area using the entity info, it comes out in square feet. But sometimes you want that to show up as something else. And so the place that you do that is you want to go up to Window, Model Info, and you want to go to Units. And so you can see how when you come into units, what this does is this gives you a series of different options um, for different units and that sort of thing. So you can go to, you can change everything from architectural, you can change it to decimal. So once you go to decimal, you can change it to uh, metric if you want to. So like for example, right now this is set to architectural and my precision is set to a sixteenth of an inch. That means I can't get any more precise than a sixteenth of an inch. So if I was to draw a line right here and you look in the corner, you can see how my length is kind of snapping to units at, at the sixteenth. So like I can do like a five foot ten and a sixteenth of an inch, but you can also change that precision to something a lot higher. So like for example, right now if I do this, it's still gonna give me to the sixteenth of the inch because your length snapping is in here. So you can change your precision, but you can also change your length snapping. So if you uncheck length snapping and then you draw this in here, then you can see how you're no longer snapping to the 16th of an inch. You can get all the way up to a 64th of an inch because that's what I set my precision to. And then if you wanted to, if you wanted something a little less, if you didn't need to go to the 16th of an inch, maybe you only need to go to a quarter of an inch, then you can change your length snapping in here. So now, if I click and move this, you can see how this is going to snap to the three quarter or the one half. Um, so it's going to snap to increments in the quarter inch. So you can adjust what that snaps to. Usually I leave this at a sixteenth of an inch, but honestly I probably don't do that much that needs that level of detail. But you can see how now that I switch that back to the sixteenth, then it's snapping to lengths and in increments of a sixteenth. And so, like, let's say, for example, that you wanted to go to metric, what you would do is you would change this to decimal, and then this little drop down opens up, and you can change it from inches to something like meters or millimeters. So, like, for example, if you wanted this to be in decimal meters, you would click the meters option down here, and you can also go to centimeters or millimeters. So, you can change the format of all of these different things um, just by adjusting them using these drop downs. So, you can see how now all of my units are in meters and I believe a lot of the extensions that you use um, also switch units so let's see if we can find let's do pipe along path so like if we were to run the extension pipe along path and change our units to meters then you can see how now all your inputs would be in meters but if I was to change it back to architectural and then I was to run pipe along path again then you can see how these units change back to inches. So you can adjust, most of your extension should change um, along with this. Some of them get built in only inches or meters, I think, but most of them should change based on what you have set in here. So you have a couple other options as well, but I think generally speaking, you're going to be either architectural or decimal. So you can also change the precision level of your angles. So if you're using something like the protractor tool, you can both set your angle snapping. So like for example, this is set to snap at 15. So you can see if I move my mouse over the 15 degree angle, it snaps to that. It'll also snap to the 30, the 45, basically anything in the anything in a increment of 15 degrees, this will snap to that. And you can also set that precision. So if you want your angles to go more precise, then you can set that to a higher precision level. And then you can see how down in the corner now my angle changes from it 
used to have just one unit behind the decimal point now it has three so you can also you can change your precision of your angles as well that's where I'm gonna end today's video um, I know it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world but it is a question that I get asked a lot so um, leave a comment below let me know what you thought is this helpful to you did you know that uh, the units and your extensions would change as well I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So please check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.